A lineup sheet with consistently good attack minded performance out of the left midfield position. Brian White starts at center forward and he scored in back to back home games and Pedro Vite. The Rapids have been very consistent across the back lately as well, going with three across the back tonight. They've been switching between a three and a four. Their DP signing, Andreas Maxu, has been excellent. That first half against the Rapids here last year. Match day 10 is underway. Our referee tonight is Tori Penso and Colorado with the first long ball. As he matures and settles into the league and MLS here, much more physical league than he was accustomed to. Barrios might get around Blackman. He'll try now, though, as he enters the area. Put it off the side netting. And... Back to back games. He scored a gift in Charlotte. And then a beautifully taken goal after the setup from Rubio last week against St. Louis. Earns him the start here tonight. Barrios down the left side now. Holds up, gets some room. Max is there, fanned on it. Rosenberry's got a chance. Taco to the save, spills it. It's still loose, and the White Caps are able to clear. Ryan White off the crossbar. Uh, it started first uh, down to the other end, as that was the save from Taco Max just about. Bresson looking for White. White on the right foot, and it's off the bar. Yarbrough gets a piece of it, but Brian White ever so close again in that expected goals. He thought it was wide open, but Blackman made the save. And then the shot high and over. Sam Nicholson with a nice track back there to prevent that ball coming in. Gall waves off Gressel. Curling in for Veselinovic, who gets a piece. Getting maybe some more playing time than he thought he'd get here with some of the injuries that Colorado's had. Ahmed taken down by Max, and now it's ahead for Rubio. Has Gall draped all over him. Tackle made. It's a foul against the Whitecaps captain. On the left side, as we mentioned, for Sam Nicholson, no fault of his own, perhaps, but uh, they'll try their luck with Jonathan Lewis. And did that luck ever work last year against the Whitecaps? Up 2-0 at this state of the game. Gressel wide for Dravine Brown now. BT back for Brown. Brown, left foot, saved made by Yarbrough. From a different position, and it's Brown from his right back spot after the nice layoff from Vite. Yarbrough, as he has done all season long, getting his body in behind that one. Trying to get his players to show different looks to open up the space for each other. It's Gressel from this side, swings it hard, and just missing it was Javane Brown. Julian Gressel, and we've come to expect that right on the head of Javane Brown, who very often rises high, this time just without the accuracy, gets there ahead of Stephen Betisher, and just can't steer it towards the goal. Everybody having to play their part defensively to try to get something from this game for the Rapids. Left footed, Brian called. Far post, inside, and Ahmed couldn't get a piece of it to guide it towards goal. He's a good header towards goal. Bouncing ball, dangerous for Jonathan Lewis. Blackman trying to stay with him. Fends Lewis out of the box. Rubio, corner of the area. And well off the mark. Wide for the Caps. Charging to the middle. Still a ball up for Brown. Somehow got up to Martins. White is there. Kearney, right foot. Couldn't curl it around Yarborough. Again, this comes from Ali Ahmed. He just goes at players. Max does a really good job to hold him up. Thought he was fouled there. But as it comes from Martins to White, it's a nice touch and turn to give him the shooting opportunity as he tries to get it around Maxu. Chops that for Gold. Gold looking for Ahmed. Goes for a run. He collects Ahmed. Stonewall by Yarbrough. Came out to meet the young Canadian. Just can't get enough on it. Ryan Gold. This is superb with the space he's got. Puts it on the right foot of Ahmed. And then he tries to use the left foot, but can't get much on it. Credit to the goalkeeper, Yarbrough. Very brave. For the right side. Driving ball right into the middle of the mix, and Blackman had a chance at it. From distance, and Yarborough fends off Martins. That is such that he can hit them as well as he swings through that. It was never going to trouble Yarborough, as it was always right above him. But a good spring in the step from the 34-year-old. Brown on a great diagonal ball. That one's in, Gold got a piece of it. Now it's wide, save made by Yarborough. 
He has been outstanding, William Yarborough. <laughs> As he looks up, nice deflected header on from Gold means that Brian White has that shooting chance. It's from a tight angle and on his left foot, so he doesn't. Chest it down, just able to keep it in play, working against Javine Brown. Brown trying to push him to the outside, it's along the line, taken down, and point to the spot is there from Tory Penso. Uh, I spoke about the feast or famine contact, and as Lewis goes by Brown here, Brown not wanting to be beaten, is a little too handsy, and Lewis feels the pressure and goes over. It would be soft, but I don't see this being overturned. The referee right on the spot there points to the spot. Going mano a mano here. In the 79th minute, Rubio. Saved by Takaroka! Rubio denied! If he left early, he holds the line. Not terribly well taken from Rubio. Too close to the Japanese keeper who reads it like a book, dives to his left. Play. Set plays critical right near the end of the match. One of six stoppage time minutes is over with. Gressel serves it in and deflects wide off of Betcher. These are so difficult. Whipped in. Abubakar again, very close to Simon Betcher, just not giving him a, a free look at it. Organic will get another opportunity through Yappy, back for Ronan. Lewis on the right foot, changes directions, and Takaoka had to come across to make an awkward save. Gold can't come up with it, and there it is, the final whistle from Tori Penso. A scoreless draw between the Rapids and Whitecaps here at BC Place Stadium. The Caps came in.